This pot shows two mango cuttings with new growth. The cuttings were planted about five months ago. You will need a small pot with drainage holes, pruning sears or scissors, river sanders rooting medium, rooting hormone, a polythene see the tips at the end. Fill a small pot, having drainage holes with the rooting media. Water the rooting media thoroughly and keep it away for half an hour to drain excess water. See the tips at the end. Correct cuttings are important for the success. Take cuttings as explained at the end of the video. Remove the lower leaves and upper into half. Apply rooting hormone at the cut side of the cutting to promote roots. Instead, you can use honey water, aspirin powder, cinnamon powder or fresh aloe vera gel. Make a hole in the sand and insert the cutting in it, about 3 inch deep and press the sand around it. Do not push the cutting inside. You can plant more cuttings in the same pot. Do not water again. Seal the bag in a polythene bag and place the pot in a warm place in shade. Open the bag every 10 days and add a few water drops in the soil. The new growth will emerge in 6 to 10 weeks. Then remove the pot from the bag, but continue it in shade for 2 to 3 months and water it, initially a little bit as yet there are very less roots. Transfer the new plant in a new pot very carefully as the thin roots are very delicate. Try mango propagation in the months of spring to summer when the tree grows new branches. I used a mixture of soil and sand that was solarized to kill bacteria. However, you can use only the sand as it does not contain bacteria and it drains water quickly. Wash pruning shears, cutter or scissors with isopropyl alcohol or dilute bleach solution to kill bacteria. Take cuttings in the morning. Take thin 6 to 8 inch long cuttings from green stems, 4 to 6 weeks old. Wrap cuttings in a wet newspaper and enclose them in a sealed bag, while you prepare for other things.